In this video, I'm going to talk about customers. If you haven't seen the previous videos, go back and watch those. This is a series of videos, 10 tips to share with my younger self as my younger self continues to grow in business and in personal life. This aspect of one of the 10 relationship tips is about customers. I want you to remember that these relationships feed you. Remember in a previous video I shared with you that everything you want and need is in the hands of someone else and they will gladly give it to you when you give them something they value more. Of course, how would you know what your customer values if you don't communicate with them? Very important. Communicate with your customers, learn their wants, learn their needs. A famous person once said, find a need and fill it. I disagree with that. I want you to find a want and fill it. When you find a need and fill it, you're going to go broke because oftentimes they can't pay for that need. You find a want and they will find the money to pay you. Remember that. Customers, relationship, know your customers, know their wants, know their needs, and identify where your customers are. Customers are going to buy on three triggers. One, they have a problem and you go out and find a product or service that can satisfy that problem and they will buy. Two, passion. Mother's Day, Valentine's Day. People are passionate about these things and they will spend money to satisfy that. Find a need, find a want and fill it. Now, the last part in that is trends. You capitalize on trends. Everyone wants to support the Independence Day, National Women's Day. These are trends. Something happened in the news and everybody's polarized. They're going to buy to support. Make sure you're the one selling. Those are the three things. So just to recap, my name is Samuel Robinson. Like and subscribe to the channel. Go back and watch the rest of the series in case you haven't seen it. And give me feedback. We're talking about 10 relationship tips to my younger self. And one of those tips is about customers, the relationship with customers. Make sure you have a database because you're email list is going to be the most valuable database that you have. In my phone, there's about 9,000 contacts, but I'm not going to sit there and try to email each one. I'd rather export all of that into one database and share email information. Text is another database that you can leverage to communicate with your customers. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe again. And I want to be mindful of the two-minute mark. <laughs>